What's up, what's up, YouTube? Don with the uh, Don Fraud Show here. Uh, welcome back. In, in tonight's video, uh, we're going to talk about Amazon. And I want to go over its competitor, Walmart. I haven't even looked at its chart, so I'm not even sure what it's going to what it's going to say. Uh, as of right now, I mentioned in previous stream, you know, I, I've been trading Apple, Amazon, and Tesla. Uh, mostly just Amazon and Tesla. <clears throat> and as you can see, uh, I, I took advantage of a, a great, we started in June, and it was just kind of like the, the flavor of the weekend, and we just rode it all the way up. We were able to buy it, sell it, and just make tons of money. I hate even saying that, because that's what a lot of YouTubers do, but this thing just went for a run. And I, you know, best year yet, just from this uh, alone, being able to just nail it uh, well, daily, not really giving away, but a lot of these zones, we're just bouncing in and out. Uh, so we're able to buy it and sell it. And I want to talk about it right now. And right now, we, we, we gapped up. I said we needed to cool off, and we did that today just a little bit. And now, on Sunday stream, I told you guys Monday would be green, Tuesday would be red, Wednesday was kind of like a, an iffy day, maybe a sideways day, maybe nothing. It... It, I would really, I mean, picture perfect red tomorrow. It's just red, just Chiefs red, blood red. Uh, we get an excuse. There, there's a tweet. Whatever the reason is, we just get below this zone. We got on top. Uh, we stayed above, and, and I liked it. You know, I, I think like a, like a ratchet. You know, once we goes up, we just click, and I don't want it to go down. That's where full stops are. That's how I'm trailing things. Uh, Amazon just had a great push, got a little ahead of itself, I think. I think if we could just pull back, get a better dip, if we could buy Amazon right here tomorrow, that would be amazing. So what, 30, 3400, where are we at, 3450, so it's a $150 red day, eh, it just had a $200 green day. Uh, so just give all of that back, and that would be quite the red day, that would be quite the dip buy to grab, I think. Um, or... You know, stocks, they, they either, uh, they're, they're going to cool off. They get ahead of themselves. They shoot up. Um, you know, penny stocks, pump and dump. They come right back. Um, you know, bigger blue chip stocks like this, they're going to go up. Now, they're going to cool off by pulling back or going sideways. That same price action, like, you know, I, I don't want to give a date. Thursday's date is going to be, you know, out here. You know, whether we pull back and push up or we go sideways to here, we're going to cool off. The trend will eventually catch up. Uh, I don't trade using indicators, but the indicators will cool off. I, I commonly t uh, say that, you know, uh, the indicators need to cool off. Uh, retail needs to get back onto buying it. Not that retail um, is the one fueling this, but just for, no, take it out of context, terminology. Uh, again, amazing move up. A great dip buy would be here. I, I'm still on board with Thursday being green, Friday being red. Uh, we have earnings on the 22nd, so I think we need to cool off, uh, get a nice dip buy for an earnings run up. I think right now, if we were to just continue this up, um, earnings would be one of those events where it just pushed up too high, earnings comes out. If they don't come out and just drop the mic on everybody, it just sells off. They come out and say they had a good earnings, the, it sells off. They have to come out and say, you wanted good, you thought we might do great, but we did even better than that for it to push up. And I don't think Wall Street would be... Uh, where was the last earnings there it was the this one right here yeah this earnings right here they expected nothing for this so amazon came out and just basically said hey by the way we turned the lights on one day and it just blew everyone out of the water uh right now i think we're uh not gonna we're not on that same page so for tomorrow i'm looking for it to sell off uh I haven't bought Amazon yet, so I hope it doesn't gap up. I was really looking for a dip by today, just wasn't feeling it. I think we need to cool off a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, four hour chart we got up here. So tomorrow, if I'm right, we'll base out. I will then buy it, uh, or B, we sell off and you know I buy the dip. If we do, however, sell off and land somewhere awkwardly in the middle, depending on how the futures look, you know, the Nasdaq in general, uh, you know, with that driving order flow, I might. I might take a small position. Full stop is going to be down here, though, because if we do sell off, I'm going to add on at this bottom zone. Or if we push up, you know, yeah, I do have a little bit of a cushion there, but I'll play this zone. Either way, I will structure a trade at that top zone or this bottom zone right here for now. Uh, I don't like getting in between. It's not a lot of structure there, uh, but I think if that's going to be the dip buy, that's going to be it. So be it. Uh, we'll uh, we'll nibble at it. I don't like saying that, but we'll grab a small position. I think. Uh, again, if you're new to my channel. Uh, I have my entry and my stop loss. My stop loss is down here. If I'm going to risk 100 bucks, well, I probably can't buy this ticker. Uh, but 
if you're risk, let's say you only want to risk two hundred bucks. So what's it, thirty three fifty? Oh no, so a hundred bucks, thirty. We'll say thirty two fifty. Uh, if I only want to risk a hundred bucks, I'm only going to buy one share. That's how you're going to do it. Uh, you know, as we get closer down here, a lot less to move. So if I bought in this zone, I could risk, I could risk the same amount and buy two shares, right? Get your entry, your stop loss, your relative take profit. We're going to delete that anyway and trail it. We're going to bag hold the winners, but let your allocation decide your 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 risk. You know, probably word that a little funny. Let your sh position size decide your risk, not not just throwing darts at the board and say uh, I got in with twenty five percent of my account because well, I'm new. That's that's all I hear when someone says that. Not to make fun of anybody. Um, but we do know there's going to be, that's going to be a tough area to beat. There's a lot of sellers kind of hanging out waiting for that right there. So that, that's kind of the play for Amazon. Let's check on its competitor, Walmart. Walmart, it seems like Walmart and Amazon, uh, they're going for the same thing. Amazon or Walmart has their new app coming. Uh, what would it do? Uh, we kind of just kind of moseyed on up. Yeah, we gapped up, kind of confirmed it. We're watching this area down here. Walmart moves like a turtle right so it's hard to even really talk about there, there's not a lot of uh, aggression leaving these zones that's what i like to look for um just uh, that that leg out that impulse move and we kind of just moseyed along yeah we got we pushed up we came back down test this one more time here we are again i would still look out for some sellers right here so tomorrow's a nothing day walmart will surely show it uh, and do a whole lot of nothing someone uh, the retail crew is probably going to talk about a, a maybe they probably already are calling a cup and handle right there they draw funny shapes they like to squint at things and, and look at it weird and call it a shape but right now got a little carried away cooled off we can see the overall trend is really starting to push up we're starting to gain some momentum to the upside uh so i'd watch out for some uh some sellers right here not too excited about walmart it's an easy play um uh, I wouldn't give it the, the Apple rating, but I'd say Walmart's not a bad one. It's hard for you to get emotional playing Walmart. You, you there's, there's three days out of the year where you might get excited. So I'll end it here, guys. If you like what I do, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so you're notified on my next video. I will go live tomorrow after hours. Appreciate the thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.